In this video, I'm going to show you the power of connecting to an API in your automation workflows. That can be a website or it could be uh, an API URL, could be a webhook. But for our purposes, for our demo purposes, we're going to use uh, an API that's available at a website called Open Weather Map. Open Weather Map. This website has an API that we can consume that we can call to get the weather in specific places. So how do we do that? Well, let's go back, go back over to make and it needs a URL. So I already have the URL um, set up here and you'll see it is API. Here's the URL api.openweathermap.org data 2.5 weather question mark Q equals London and AP, uh, app ID equals this number. It's essentially what this is doing is telling us to look up the weather in London and we can change that to New York we can change it to uh, Miami whatever but we'll just keep it for London for now so we're just going to copy and paste this URL which uh, was provided in the API uh, documentation we'll paste that into the URL section we're going to do a git and we'll hit save and now we're going to run this uh, module and see what happens save it hit run once okay there we go looks like we didn't get any errors status code 200 is good that means everything was uh, returned properly there's no errors now here is the data but it's kind of hard to read and it, it's kind of all jumbled up so how can we modify this to make it easier to read well uh, I happen to know that that uh, response is in JSON format so what we'll do is we'll add a new module to parse that JSON. And now it's going to ask for the JSON string. So we just click on the input field and we just click on data because that is where the JSON is stored. And we'll hit save. You'll see the output. This is the input it was all this mess. <laughs> but now it's a lot easier to read. So now we see the weather in London. If we drill down, we see it's clear, clear skies. Uh, temperature feels like uh, humidity sea level clouds time zone all sorts of good information this tells us the weather this tells us uh, even has like coordinates all sorts of good stuff so essentially we just consumed an API using make.com um, and so that shows the power of connecting to other applications outside of make.com